Hi friends, I'm Grishma and you are watching my channel G Tutorials. Today's lecture is on data sufficiency. Here I will be discussing some shortcuts for doing data sufficiency problems very easily. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel for getting more RRB J related videos. Now let us get to our portions. Questions from uh, data sufficiency is asked like you are given a question and uh, there will be two statements. The options will be like one alone is sufficient to answer the question. Second option will be statement two alone is sufficient to answer the question. Third option is both uh, one and two is sufficient. Next is either one or two is sufficient. And option E is neither one nor two is sufficient. So the code you have to remember is just one to bend. One to bend. You just remember one to bend. And we can see uh, the method that you have to adopt for solving such kind of problem. Uh, first you have to read the question. And just read the first statement. If the first statement can give the answer of the question, then one or E will be the answer. That is, one alone is sufficient to answer the question, or either one or two. One is always correct. So, if two also is possible to give the answer, then either one or two. So, these two options can be the answer of the question. If this is not correct, one is not able to give the answer to the question, then it can be like two alone is sufficient or neither this or next is both. Both one and two is required to answer the question. So if two alone is able to give the answer, then two is the correct answer. If 1 and 2 is required to answer the question, then both will be the correct answer. If both are not able to give the answer, neither 1 nor 2 is giving the correct answer. This is the answer to the given question. You will be more clear when you are doing problems in this portion. Uh, mainly two types of problems are asked on data sufficiency. One is you have to find the value of the value of anything. That is asked in the question. And the second type of question is yes or no question. Now we can do some problems to understand these concepts very clearly. This is the first question. If L and W represents the length and width of a rectangle, then what is its perimeter? The statements given are, first statement is 2L plus W is equal to 20. And the second statement is L plus W is equal to 25. First we have to check whether it is a value question or yes or no questions. Here uh, we are asked to find the value of perimeter. So it is a question where we have to find the value. So L and W was given as the length and width of a rectangle and we are asked to find perimeter. Perimeter of a rectangle is given by the formula 2 into L plus W. We know this is the value of perimeter. Now we have to find which option is the correct one. To answer the given question. One alone is sufficient, two alone or both or either or neither. So the method I use to adopt is first I will read the question and then I will check only the first statement. This statement. First statement is 2L plus W is given as 20. 2L plus W is equal to 20. So the answer can be 1 or either 1 or 2. 2L plus W, from this we cannot find the value of L or W. If two equations are given, then we can solve and find the answer. From this we can't find uh, the value of L or W. So we are not able to find the perimeter. So 1 is not possible to give the answer. Either 1, 1 is not possible. So either 1 or 2, that option also fails. So we have to go for the second statement. L plus W is equal to 25. This is the second statement. First we have to check 
So the three possible answers are one to Benno, one and this is gone. So two B and N can be the answers. If L plus W is equal to twenty five. L plus W is given as 25. So perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus W. L plus W is 25. So 2 into 25, 50. So second statement can give the answer for perimeter. So 2 alone can give the answer. So 2 alone is sufficient as possible. Either option has failed in the earlier case. So either one or two also don't will not come. So the answer is 2 alone is sufficient to answer the given question. Now we can check the next question. This is the next question. What is the value of integer n? The statements given are 101 less than n less than 103 and the second statement is 202 less than 2n less than 206. This is also a value type question. Here we have we are asked to find the value of indi integer n. Integers are numbers, negative numbers, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. These are integers. So we are asked to find the value of integer n. So the method uh, we have to adopt is first we have to check only the statement 1. If statement 1 alone can give the answer of the given question, what is the value of integer n? n lies between 101 and 103. As it is an integer, the number between 101 and 103 is 102. So, one alone can give the answer. So, if uh, while checking first option, it is, if you are able to solve the answer of the question, then the options that can be uh, the answer of the given question is 1 or either 1 or 2. So, 1 is possible. So, 1 is correct. So, we have to check whether 2 is also able to give the answer of the given question. So, we are checking the second statement. 202 less than 2n less than 206. So we can divide throughout the equation by 2. So 202 divided by 2 less than 2n by 2 less than 206. Which is 101 less than n less than 103. So from here also we are able to find the value of n that is 102. So Second option also follows. 2 is also able to give the answer. So either 1 or 2 is the correct option. 1 alone can also give the answer. 2 alone can also give the answer of the given question. Now from this question we can also uh, form another question. If this integer is not present. Then find the value of n. The options are. 101 less than n less than 103 and 202 less than 2n less than 206. In this case, we cannot say that the value of n is 102 because n can be any number between 101 and 103. That is, it can be fractions 101.1, 101.2, and so on. And second option also uh, gives the same answer. But not on point something like that. So, if the question is like, what is the value of n? The option will be neither one nor two is sufficient to answer the given question. As uh, the question is like, what is the value of integer n? We are able to solve this question. This is the next question. Is k plus m less than zero? This is an yes or no question. Here we are asked to find whether k plus m is less than 0 or not. The given statements are first statement is k less than 0 and second statement is km greater than 0. Now we can adopt our method. We are reading the question and just looking at the first statement. k plus m is less than 0 given k is less than 0. k less than 0 means k takes negative values. k is equal to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 etc. Here we are not given the value of m. But we are, what we have to find is k plus m is less than 0 or not. So let us assume m is equal to any positive number. Let m is equal to 10. Then what is the value of k plus m? k, k can be uh, any negative number. So let us take k is equal to minus 3. 
So k plus m is minus 3 plus 10, which is equal to 10 minus 3, 7. This is not less than 0. This is not correct. If you are taking k is equal to 10 and m is equal to 10. So minus 10, k is equal to minus 10. K takes negative values only. Then the answer is 0. This is also not correct. Then if you are taking m as o negative number, m is equal to minus 10 and k is equal to any of the numbers, minus 3. Then k plus m is minus 10 plus 3. Minus 10 plus minus 3. Which is equal to minus 3. This is the last answer. That means the given equation is cut. So there are some uh, contradictory case. That is, uh, in some case when m is negative, the statement is yes and if m is positive, the answer of the statement is no. So, if we know the value of m, only then we can say whether this is correct or not. But in the first statement, we are given k is negative only. So, if we know the value of m, only then we can find whether k plus m is less than 0 or no. So, According to our choice, one or either option does not follow. One alone cannot uh, say whether it is yes or no and either one ought to. This is also not possible. So the next possible options are reading the statement 2 and it can be 2 alone or e, uh, uh, both 1 and 2 and neither one not 2. This is the possible choices. So we can see the second Statement Km is greater than 0. K into M can be greater than 0 in two possible cases. If K is positive and M is positive. In that case K into M is also positive. That is greater than 0. The other possible case is K is negative and M is also negative. Then also K into M is greater than 0 or positive. Okay, so in this case also we are not given whether k is positive or m is positive. We are just given this and this are the two possible chances for k m to be greater than 0. And we are, what we have to find is k m is, is less than 0 or not. If k is positive and m is positive. Both are positive. Let us take two numbers. If k is equal to 10 and m is equal to 2. Then 10 plus 2 is 12. Which is not less than 0. That is, this is not correct. And if in other case, we can take both as negative. If k is equal to minus 10 and m is equal to minus 2. Then minus 10 plus minus 2. Which is equal to minus 2. This is less than 0. This is positive. So here also a contradictory case appears. That is one option. If both are positive, it give, uh, gives the answer no. And if both are negative, it gives the answer yes. So we have to uh, be given either K is positive or M is positive. Only then we can correctly say whether the answer of the question is yes or no. So 2 allowed is also not sufficient to answer the given question. So the next case is both. We can check whether both uh, statements are given then we are able to uh, find the answer of the question. The first statement is given at k is less than 0 that is k is negative and in the next case km is greater than 0. Km is possible uh, to be greater than 0 only if both are positive or both are negative but in the first option it is given that k is negative. So, so this is the correct one. K is negative and M is also negative. So, Km is less than 0 is also correct. So, if both options are, both statements are given, only then we are able to find the answer of the given question. So, the answer for this question is both 1 and 2 are sufficient to answer the given question. Hope uh, you, are, you, have, you are able to follow my lecture. And if you are having any doubt, you can comment below. We will see more problems in the next class. Thank you.